I think he's thinking about um, Jumbo, who was the most famous um, z- um, elephant at, at London Zoo. But here's the thing about feeding a, an elephant lots of buns. Yeah. I found here on, on the London Zoo site, actually. I can't believe you looked up what the downsides of feeding buns to elephants. You are such a buzzkill. <laughs> Well, let's just... This is London Zoo calling. What they say is that in the story about uh, Jumbo, um, as he grew older, Jumbo's behaviour began to change because he was apparently quite a friendly guy yeah. and allowed children to ride on his back and they used to feed him They lots allowed children to ride on his back? Yes, and they fed him lots of sticky buns. Different right? times. He remained calm during his daily walks around the zoo. He just walked around the zoo. (laughs) At night, he became increasingly aggressive and violent, cracking the doors of his house and, in one instance, actually breaking off his tusks. It was thought at the... Yeah, exactly. It was thought at the time that this could have been due to him entering musth. M-U-S-T-H. You ever heard that word before? No. Musth. A period of aggression seen in bull elephants due to a rise in reproductive hormones. Have you ever had a period of must, Lloyd? Yeah, I think... It's, 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 <laughs> um, now, however... and That was a Thursday afternoon in 1982. <laughs> now, however, it is thought his aggression most likely stemmed from toothache caused in part by the diet of sticky buns fed to him by visitors to the zoo. Oh. So basically... Christopher Milne and A.A. Milne sent the poor old Jumbo mad with toothache. With buns. That's the dark side of that poem. Right. 